An inspiration, aspiration. I have always had a love for music. So um, I feel like when words cannot explain, be explained, music speaks. Okay. Yeah. So I have always had a love for music and therefore I wanted um, to express myself through music. Uh, favorite music for me, it would be pop and R&B. For my album, it's gonna be a very interesting one because there's a mixture of um, Cambodian, uh, Cambodian songs as well as um, a few covers, English covers, and there's also some original pieces on the album. Yep. My proudest achievement is is when I became a mother, actually, <laughs> because it's actually um, like when becoming a mother, it's taught me so much. Um, therefore, I think that that's my proudest achievement and definitely the, the album, the music as well. Yeah, I, I like to empathize with people. Um, I always try to put myself in their position and therefore I always tell myself it's always better to be kind to be loving and um, and that's how I see it and um, and yeah I mean despite the changes that's happened in my life I have to just accept it and uh, yeah we just continue on with our lives especially with my friends and my loved ones um, I try to no matter how busy I am um, I try to make time for them um, yeah I think it's very important um, despite, yes, we need to work, we need to uh, get out there and, and do our, we, we're very busy with our day-to-day uh, -day jobs, but it's, I think like when you're actually out with your friends and your loved ones, yeah. there's just this uh, indescribable feeling. Yeah. I do. <laughs> I do. I really do miss Cambodia, especially the traditional Cambodian dishes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, uh, it's, it's uh, the bahok, uh -huh. yeah, I know it's, it's kind of a bit funny smelling and everything, <laughs> but I'm so used to it, like I grew up eating it, so yeah, okay. definitely the bahok, yeah, I definitely will, yes. Movie, The Impossible, the impossible. yeah, The Impossible, yeah. that was the most saddest movie I've ever watched. Yes, it was a tsunami. Yeah, it was a very, it's a beautiful movie. Um, and the fact that it was based on a true story, it was just very touching. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It was in Thailand, and it's just sad because that's the thing. You you don't know what's going to happen the next day. Like they were just on a vacation with their kids, and you know, just wanting a great time, but it turned out like disastrous. And um, yeah. I have to say Deadpool. Deadpool. <laughs> I just yeah, that 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 was definitely a very uh, funny movie. <laughs> why? Is well, it was very different. Like yeah. I mean, it's not your your common action movie. Like it had a bit of everything in it, like action and then a bit of uh, romance and then, you know, the comedy. Yeah, yeah, so it was it was a good movie. Yeah. Favorite movie? Titanic. Titanic. Yes, I watched that like six times <laughs> in the cinemas. Do you sing, do you sing the, the song a lot? I do actually. <laughs> yes, I in do. The uh, everywhere. Uh, everywhere. <laughs> I don't drink. <laughs> um, maybe fruit juice? <laughs> yes, because yes, they were drinking uh -huh. and I told them I'm not a ver I'm going to ruin the night. Just don't make me drink. Yeah. So they said, okay, we'll grab this. It's fruit juice with chia seeds in it. And it looks like an alcoholic drink. <laughs> so you've got to blend in with everyone. <laughs> so that's what I pretty much drink. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> it's the eyes. <laughs> oh, I, I can't picture myself doing that. But I know of one song that would definitely, um, you know, get me dancing. Um, I think it's it's uh, sorry by Justin sorry. Bieber. Oh. I like it. It's yeah, it's, yeah. Okay. yeah. Ah, oh yes, it's definitely. I was shooting a uh, uh, it's a travel show, okay. and we were at Dreamworld. Yeah. I have never ever been on a roller coaster. I am scared of those damn things. <laughs> and then because we needed it for a, a, a section in our our uh, show. Yeah. I was forced to go on it. <laughs> the most scariest thing in my entire life. So what happened afterwards? Did you vomit or anything? Oh, no, I had to...
because there were so many things we had to get done that day. I just pulled myself together. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. But here I am, I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> For shoes, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a very, you know, comfort person. So I definitely have to say my flats. I can't live without my flats. You know, I love my evening gowns and everything, you know, like just getting all glammed up. I just love it. But you know what? I can't wear that to, you know, the markets or anything like that. It's impossible. So I'm going to have to say singlet, jeans, okay. just yeah. casuals. Yeah. yeah. And flat. Yeah. There you go. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> A message that I'd like to send to all the women in Cambodia would be um, to find um, happiness from within. Don't seek it anywhere else don't be dependent on anyone don't rely on anything to make you happy um, because it's all in here if you're happy from within whatever you do um, whatever you buy or who you're with you'll be just just plain happy yeah so yeah I think that's that's the message I like to send across and don't forget to be yourself yeah